Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are coming to you from Brockton, Massachusetts, here at the staff gym, where tonight is senior night, and the Brockton Boxers host their rival, the New Bedford Whalers. Um, I'm alongside, we're here with Marcel Smith. We'll be doing the play-by-play -play in today's game, and um, this should be a good one. We got a good crowd here, uh, expected here, obviously, for senior night, and um, when it comes to Brockton, uh, Marcel, let's call it how it is, right? They're sitting at 4-13, and 13, and this year might not see the, the playoffs in the MIAA. Hey, hello, everybody. Um, happy to be here on senior night for the Brockton High kids, as, long, as well as the New Bedford kids um, and also the cheerleaders. Yeah, right off the bat, Orlando, um, you know, 4-13, and 13, it's not ideal. It's not necessarily what you're looking for. But you got to play every game. Now you can be the spoiler. Uh, New Bedford needs two of the next three games to get into the state tournament. So, you know, if Brockton could play spoiler, I guess you can use that as your metaphorical Super Bowl. You know what I mean? Um, but other than that, yo, New Bedford does not care what, what Brockton's situation is. They, they're coming here looking to win. And, and you're talking about New Bedford needing uh, two games for the state tournament and Brockton can actually play a spoiler and what better team than to play spoiler to your rival the New Bedford Whalers. Uh, New Bedford comes in at 8-9 led by Matt Hill who's been in uh, New Bedford I believe for six years and th this is this is big time right Marcel two games you're in the state tournament you lose this game this could be very hard for you to get in. Well I mean look at the atmosphere the game clearly means something to both these cities you know over the years, as we all know, New Bedford and Brockton, they got this little rivalry. It's actually a pretty big rivalry. And uh, both, both towns, both cities look like they showed up tonight. So we, we just got to see who's the better team. And we will see that. So the tip-off is uh, less than a minute. And um, Brockton sitting at 4-13, and 13, New Bedford sitting at 8-9. and nine. This should be a good one. Sitting alongside here with Marcel Smith here at Brockton uh, Staff Gymnasium. And um, we'll step aside real quick as they're going to introduce the starters and the national anthem.
National Anthem done beautifully by Brockton student Natalie King. That was great, wasn't it? Yeah, so uh, star liners for New Bedford real quick. Javon Lloyd. We got Anthony Deacate. We got Desmond Brunskill. We got Greg Batista and Jaron Goodine. Yes, if you know that name, Jaron Goodine, uh, legendary JoJo Goodine who went to New Bedford uh, High, his son. And on for Brockton, uh, you have nothing else really changed. Marcus Forts, Nathan Akuri, uh, Cody Lambert, John Francois, and Nate Righto. Referees for tonight's game, John Carasano, yep, Joe Rocha, and James Jenkins. And we're ready to go, Marcel. What do we expect today here? Hey, I'm expecting a good one. Uh, I, will, I want to see both these teams compete. Great senior night atmosphere. Special shout out to Cam Montero, who could not be here. He's down in Pitt, you know, pursuing his career on the football field. But uh, we got you, Cam. We, we're never going to leave you out of this night, that's for sure. Yes, sir, Mr. Cam. Pretty sure he's uh, watching, and uh, he was part of the team, but he had to leave Brockton early uh, to go to Pittsburgh. And tip-off is underway. We are underway. Coley Lambert at the top of the key. That gives it to Ratso. John Francois looking to drive, kicks it to Cody. Cody, go for three. That's off. Rebound goes to New Bedford. Pushing it up all the way through, and the shot might have been blocked there. And back comes Brockton to Nate Ratto. Nate Ratto leaves it up. No good, but he will go to the free throw line. Great, great transition there for Brockton to Marcel. Yeah, that's a good look by Marcus. Um, I saw it at half court, and apparently Marcus did too. It's a great look by that kid. Nate Ratto will go to the line for two shots. First one's no good. Brockton in, a, in an unusual role today, uh, trying to play spoiler to New Bedford, who's trying to get into the playoffs with two wins. Second one won't go, but there goes Francois. What he does best, no good, and he gets his own rebound. Nate looking to drive. Kicks it to Francois. Francois goes back to Marcus. Marcus looks to drive. Looks like he got fouled. Shot no good. Francois again with the rebound. Back to Curry. Nate Ratto looks to drive. Does. Again, it can't go down. And back comes New Bedford. Coach Matt Hill standing here next to me, and he's screaming rebound. And New Bedford was doing a, a, a C-plus job of, of rebounding. Um, got a box out on both ends. Yeah, good eye looks to go to the hoop, and uh, the ball's deflected out. And uh, it will stay here, New Bedford ball. Uh, New Bedford's top player, from what they tell me, is uh, Greg Batista, uh, number two, senior guard. They've, he's had a great year, and he gets the ball now. Over to Brunskill, Brunskill. And Lloyd gets his pocket taken back right toe. Cody looking to drive, does, high off the backboard, and no good. And back comes New Bedford, good eye. Good eye looking to drive, looked like he traveled, and yes, he did. A little bit too much steps there, Marcel. Yeah, I knew this was coming from Matt. Uh, Coach Hill, New Bedford, immediately blew a timeout. I, I, I saw this coming a minute and a half ago. Um, you got to box out. You got to get back on transition, but... Um, we're still scoreless here, a minute and a half into the game. Yeah, a minute and a half into the game, and both teams look uh, a little bit uh, sluggish uh, off the bat. Uh, maybe they got to get their feet uh, wet, uh, get some juice under their blood uh, here at our uh, staff gymnasium. And Marcel, um, as far as uh, New Bedford, um, Obviously, it could be a little nerve-wracking. Uh, they, they know this is a big game for them. Um, do you feel like the early start has, has shown a little, like, ner nervousness out there? Um, you know, I, I don't feel like the warm-up was that great, to be honest with you, and maybe with the senior night um, introductions stopping the warm-up a little bit. The kids might have just 
lost a little bit of focus. But I mean, neither team has scored, so you know it's indicative of the game right now. Neither neither team has really done anything out here. New Bedford coming out in the press. So Brock to an inbounds. New Bedford look like they're in the full court press. Francois gives it to Cody. Cody to Nate. Nate drives up. And again, shot's no good, but Diakate cannot corral the uh, rebound, and it goes out of bounds, and it will stay here to Brockton. Diakate, if you know that name, uh, football player for the Whalers. Cody, no good, but there goes Marcus Force flying in for the rebound. Cody back to Nate, way off on that, but again, another offensive rebound. There's a shot blocked there by Brunskill. And I believe there's going to be a foul there on New Bedford's Sharon Goodeye. And uh, Curry will go to the line for two shots. Brockton has seven or eight offensive rebounds in the first quarter alone. Uh, that's, 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 that's a very good stat for Brockton. Of course it is. And terrible on the New Bedford end. You get, Kids got to box out. Like, like Marcel says, uh, boxing out has been a factor here, and there's the first point of today's game. Lloyd looking to drive, kicks it back out, swings it over to Baptista, and Baptista tries to get it to Jojo Goodon and um, can't corral the ball, and Brockton takes over. Very uh, sloppy start for the Whalers here in a big game for them. Francois at the top of the key. Most to Forts. Forts to Ratso. Forts looking to drive, uh, and he gets his pocket taken. Not a good job controlling the ball. Brunskill is, just smacks it away. Baptista looking to shoot, and he does, and he gets the shot, and New Bedford's finally on the board, Marcel. Yeah, good up fake. Um, got him off his feet. Put it in the basket. Brockton breaks the press. Nice bounce pass. And there it goes to Akate saying, no way. Blocks it away. And the other end, New Bedford, turns it over. Um, Lloyd trying to get it to Akate. And uh, not a great pass. A little bit too hard. And Brockton comes the other way. Three minutes into the game. And it's two to one, New Bedford. Brockton's yet to get a field goal. Bedford in the, the press. Brockton breaks it. Philly Jean up top. Goes to Cody. Cody notches up a three, and there it goes. Brockton's first field goal is a three from Cody Lambert. 4-2 Brockton with 4-39 here in the first quarter. Yeah, New Bedford with the diamond press, but what that does, if you don't, uh, if you don't take away certain areas of the court, it leaves gaps in the court, and uh, Cody found one, hit the three, and that's what he does. And there's going to be a travel right there, and a good eye now. does not like the, the call. And, uh, and New Bedford turns it over yet again. 423 left here in the first quarter. Brockton up 42. And a game that New Bedford desperately needs. Ratto up top. Kicks it to the, the Silver, who just came into the game. Brockton playing catch here at the top of the key. Nate looking to drive, kicks it back to Cody. Cody not, launches up a three and front rims it. And Diakate comes up with the rebound. Whoa, good shot. A, a shot no good there by Rivera. And they're going to get a travel in that time on Cody. And yes, indeed it was. Very sloppy stop by both teams, Marcel. Yeah, um, we don't have the exact turnover count, but I would say New Bedford probably has five and Brockton has about four. Um, unforced, most of them are just, you know, errors of being a 15, 16, 17-year-old kid. So New Bedford comes back, Lloyd at the top of the key. Nate playing him closely. De Silva up on Rivera. Lloyd swings it back to Rivera. 
Baptiste. He's going to launch it. No good. And a Francois scars for the rebound. Once far goes to Lambert. Back to Ratto. And uh, why not? Francois. And he hits it. That's your, one of your seniors right there. Three-pointer. It's Brockton's second three-pointer. That's their field goals. And it's 7-2 Brockton with 2.58 here in the first quarter. Hey, good shot. Um, good execution of the offense. Everything went great for Brockton right there. Hey, New Bedford comes right back with a three, 7-5. Yeah, Lloyd says, you know what? Uh, whatever you could do, I could do better. And uh, there's a steal by New Bedford, and Brockton Luxley gets that back. Philly G with a Euro step, and he's going to get an and one. That foul is going to go on Diakate. And uh, it went in and out, I guess. But uh, what a great move. And has a chance uh, to get two shots at the line. Good move by uh, Philly Jean, and he hits the first free throw. Yeah, I got a little bit of a better angle. Um, it actually came out. It looked like it was going to go in. Um, let's see. Yep, he's got both free throws, nine five boxes. So a nice move that time by Philly Jean. Lloyd at the top of the key. Nate Ratcho closely on him. There's a steal and picked up by Lambert. Lambert, and what a hustle that time by Batista. If I'm Manny, I'm bringing Cody over and say, don't look back when someone's chasing you down. Just focus on the path to the hoop. Oh, he's coming out the game right now. Manny should be telling him, don't look back when you're getting chased down. Yeah, he, he kind of went up there, uh, kind of, you know, thinking he had the layup and Batista with a great hustle points coming from behind and deflecting it. And the Philly Jean uh, trying to dribble through there, not very smart, but able to get the ball back. De Silva kicks it back to Philly Jean, kicks it to Francois, looking for three, back rims it. Rebound by New Bedford, but again, again, uh, Diakate trying to free Rivera and another turnover by the New Bedford Oilers. I wish I could tell these kids they're making it stuff to watch right now. Um, you can't. You got to be able to catch the basketball, man. Um, but yeah, another unforced error. Uh, yeah, I know how Coach feels right now. Brockton subs to Aaron Corlett in the game. He tries to feed Philly Jean down low. Here's a steal by Goodine, and he should have an easy layup. And yes, indeed, he does. And it's nine-seven Brockton here in the first quarter with one thirty-four to play. New Bedford back in the full court press. Brockton breaks it. Aaron Corlett looking to drive. Dust. Nice feed. Uh, looked like he got foul there. No call. Was able to get the loose ball, and uh, Corlett turns it over. Brockton's got to relax here. Um, yet another turnover. It's been a very, very sloppy first quarter to start this game for both teams. I think they've had the same amount of turnovers as both teams and the cheerleaders have uh, seniors tonight. Um, Got to cut down on the turnovers. You want to win basketball games. Yes, indeed. Uh, and again, uh, that time it'll stay there, but Corlett deflects it out of bounds. New Bedford subs uh, someone in, but unfortunately we do not have that number in here. Number 11 for New Bedford. Good eye on looking to drive. Brunskill goes to the hoop, and he, uh, he's going to get two. Uh, there's a foul that time. On Brockton on 20, uh, Messiah Pina, who also came into the game, another senior for Brockton. Same thing going on, slow start. Um, you know, they are kids. I know both coaches are, um, you know. <laughs> Not very happy with the results right now, but what can you do? Brunskill hits the first free throw, 9-8. Brockton here in the first quarter with 56 seconds left to play. He hits the second shot, and we are all tied again. 
Again, uh, Corlett trying to inbound. He does to uh, Forts, who breaks it out to Pina. Again, they trapped him. Corlett, top of the keys, says, let's slow things down here. New Bedford goes back to the 2-3. De Silva looking to drive, kicks it to Corlett. Corlett can't. Closed out by New Bedford, trying to go inside of Philogene. Again, uh, Philogene tries to dribble through it, and De Silva, I know it, with the steal. Uh, unable to come up with a hoop, but uh, I believe we're going to have a foul underneath while, as Philogene grabbed that rebound, and it's going to go against New Bedford. A great hustle by the kids. I mean, they, they are out there playing, and a lot of these turnovers are just um, effort plays, you know what I mean? Like, they're, they're trying. It's not like they're not trying. Here comes another one. Um, it's not like they're not trying. It's just trying a little bit too hard. you got to let the game come to you. Uh, on cue, Marcus Force with the turnover. Uh, yeah, and like Marcel said, another turnover by uh, both teams have been turning over the ball pretty consistently right now to stop the game. But New Bedford tries to settle things down, and Rivera looking to drive. And I, th I think that's going to be on the floor. Um, it's going to be on Corlett. That's an easy call. Uh, that was he, he did hit him. Very easy call by the ref that time. Good on, by, good on inbounds it to Rivera. Rivera tries to go inside, and again, that's going to be uh, deflected away by Brockton. And uh, it's luckily... That stays here with New Bedford. Three seconds left here in the first quarter. Bedford trying to do something fast here. Brunskill, one, up off the glass, no good. And that's how the first quarter will end with the score of Brockton nine and New Bedford nine. And Marcel, uh, very sloppy first quarter to say the least. Hey, you know what? That's Orlando. That's that's true. Like you know, I think we came on this broadcast to be real tonight. However, right? There's good effort. Kids are playing hard. They're trying to run their stuff. Um, Matt Hill, New Bedford's coming out with the press, um, leaving a couple gaps in it that Brockton's taking advantage of. But you know, all in all, it's, it's a good game. I like the effort. So you know, we couldn't ask for anything more. See you tonight. You look at the first meeting, Marcel. Right? New Bedford won the game, 56 to 43, out in New Bedford. Now, I'm going to ask you, uh, you figure in a game with this magnitude for New Bedford, right, they would come out with some urgency. Uh, right now, I'm, I've yet to see that from the Whalers. Do, do you agree with that? I actually do. Yeah, um, it doesn't look – they're not playing with the tempo of a team that needs to win this game tonight. And then you got Franklin, I believe, Natick. Um, this would be – indicative of Brockton's record – this would be one of the games you're trying to really get, and it doesn't seem like they've hammered home the point of, hey, kids, you got to win this game tonight. I'm, I'm not seeing that yet. Obviously, it's early, but Brockton, obviously, you know they're going to come out and play at CN night in front of a big crowd here at the Staff Gymnasium, and um, we'll see what happens going forward. Uh, here, as we start hit the second quarter here at the Staff Gymnasium. Oh, what a block by Francois! <laughs> Lloyd tries to take it in, and Francois is having nothing of it. And down below is a Kerr. A nice turnaround shot. Don't mind that shot. No good. And New Bedford snatches the rebound. Brunskill tries to go down low to number 11, which we don't have a name. Ball falls right into Goodine's hand. Lloyd back to Goodine. Rivera top of the key, and that's a travel. That's, that's an easy call for the referee. Yet another turnover. Yeah going east-west without dribbling the basketball. They're going to call that every time. Whether it's 1984 or 2024, that's still a travel. So the sloppiness continues. Uh, again, New Bedford's in the full court press. Marcus trying to break it. And they do. Francois Lambert says, why not? And there it is. His second three-pointer of the game. And um, he's showing the last few games that you cannot leave Mr. Lambert open, Marcel. Hey, I heard uh, Cody shops a target a lot, and um, he always hits his, normally hits his target when he um, pulls up from three. And New Bedford comes right back underneath again, number 11, with a strong move. And uh, there's another turnover by Brockton. Uh, Forts looked like he got fouled, no call. Lloyd to the hoop, up, lefty, right over Nate. 
occur for the two and New Bedford regains the lead at 13 to 12 here in the second quarter. Hey, um, the pressure now has picked up a little bit on New, New Bedford and it seems to be bothering Brockton a little bit. They had Marcus turn the ball over, I think once or twice. Uh, but we still got a you know, 13, 12 game here. New Bedford up one. All right, maybe we see that urgency that we were talking about from New Bedford here to start here the second quarter. 13, 12, New Bedford. And Francois, another, another missed layup by Brockton. And again, Nate Rats uh, occur, sorry, with a turnover and then I commits the foul to make matters worse. You, you can't smoke wide open layups. You just can't smoke layups. You got it. You got to finish the layups. It's about the third or fourth that they just completely smoked maybe the entire rim. You got you, you to finish. Yes, indeed. Diakate looking to drive. Looked like he pushed out. No call. But Fortz comes up with a steal. Leaves it for Cody. Cody uh, can't go, so uh, he tries to get it to Francois. There's Cody Lambert again for three, and another three. That's number three for Mr. Cody Lambert. What did I say about leaving him open, Marcel? Hey, I said chalk it up as soon as he let it go. I mean, that's what Cody does. I, I'd like to ask his dad who's the better shooter, um, him or his dad. But uh, I, I might have to go with Cody. Sorry, Chris. Cody Lambert, uh, only a sophomore for the Brockton, and future looks bright for him. He leads the Brockton boxes in scoring right now with nine, which has been all three-pointers. Brockton up 15 to 13 with 537 here in the second quarter. Brockton in the two, three zone. Ball's in play to Rivera. Rivera to Lloyd. Lloyd looking to drive Francois up close to him. He takes the shot anyway. And uh, there's going to be a foul. And uh, Lambert's looking like, oh, me? Who? But uh, in any event, uh, Lloyd's going to go to the line for two shots, Marcel. Is that back-to-back -back on Cody? They call that one on Cody. That's, that's two right in a row. Am I right? No, he's got two right now. I think those were back-to-back -back fouls on Cody. But, they, I mean, that was a good move by the kid. Um, good pump fake. Got him off his feet. No, these things happen. Cody hiding out in the corner right now. I like that. Well, that's two fouls on Cody. Let's see what uh, Coach DeBarrows does with uh, Lambert and Indes. Indeed, the freshman, Chris Okafro, is going to come into the game. And uh, I'll tell you what, man, only a freshman and this kid, future's bright for him. So there is some silver lining to the Brockton boxes going forward. Uh, Lloyd makes the second free throw, and he will come out the game as well. 15 to 14, uh, Brockton, 525 here in the second quarter. And New Bedford in the full court press. Brockton looking to break. That's going to be a travel. Uh, try, try to hold his pivot foot, and uh, Nate Rateau turns it over. Yet another turnover. New Bedford ball. Good eye. Run skill. Shoppers looking to shoot. No good. Offensive rebound. There's the big eye. Deacate with the putback. And New Bedford has the lead. 16 to 15. Nice put back that time. Yeah, you know what I've been noticing is that uh, New Bedford's getting a lot of paint touches. They're getting the ball. Good block. Great block by Francois. Great uh, LeBron type block. Chase down. But uh, what I was going to say is um, New Bed I, I knew this time I was coming from Brockton. That's a good time out by Manny. Uh, New Bedford's getting the ball in the paint a lot. They're getting paint touches, um, which is always important on the offensive end when you you know, you're trying to make a statement, you're just pounding in the paint. But 16-15, uh, New Bedford, 4.34 to go. It's a good game, Orlando. 
Yeah, how about and, and Marcel said like that was a, a LeBron James type block. I mean, Sharples he thought he had an easy layup, and Francois came out of nowhere and says, "No, you don't." And um, we got a timeout here on the floor, and uh, a little bit more of intensity here in the second quarter that you've seen in, in, in the in the first quarter, Marcel. Yeah, for, on the New Bedford end, doesn't matter if you win by. One or 19, uh, you just need to get this win. And they've clearly picked it up a little bit. But even with that said, Brockton's still only down one, and uh, both teams are fighting. That's what you want to see. And like Marcel said, New Bedford sits at 8-9, and, and uh, they're 41 in the power rankings. And uh, getting in the top 32, I don't think it's doable for New Bedford. So getting two wins, 10 wins, is what they're looking for to get into the, the tournament. So big game for the Whalers. Good on looking to find somebody does in Batista. Batista will turn it over, and that time, the pressure by Brockton forced that turnover, Marcel. Hey, I always say pressure bust pipes, and that, that pressure definitely was an issue for New Bedford there. Um, good D by Brockton. Good defense by Brockton. So Brockton comes back with it, uh, New Bedford, in kind of like a 3-2. Oh, and that's going to be a charge on uh, Francois. Good take that time by the Whalers. And um, Francois has got to be smart um, and kind of read that, Marcel. I saw that coming. Yeah, you just want to dribble, dribble out of that situation and maybe run your stuff. Um, there's no reward, as, as we saw. There was no reward attacking the basket in that situation. So 16-15 uh, Whalers with 3.48 here in the second quarter. Good eye looking to go close down by Forts, who's been quiet so far to start this game. Uh, Brunskill looking to drive, and uh, not a good pass, but in any event, Diakate uh, grabs it, goes to the hoop, and uh, draws the foul, and he will go to the line. Yeah, it's clear that New Bedford wants to get the ball in the paint to this kid. And, um, I mean, he's got, a, he's, got, he's got some size. He's got a, you know, he's wearing 23. He's kind of built like LeBron. Um, he's got some size. Uh, let's see if he hits this free throw. Yep, yep. So getting the ball in the paint for New Bedford has been very rewarding. Right. Uh, so, I could tell you, I remember him in the football field. And um, I remember, you know, Coach DeBrittle said uh, a couple of schools are looking at him in terms of the on the football field. So looks like he can do it in the basketball court as well. He missed the second one, and New Bedford's up 17-15 to 15 here in the second quarter. Francois looking to drive, and he's going to draw the foul that time on Sharples, and he's going to go to the line for two shots. As you uh, can see, Matt, Coach Matt Hill felt like there should have been a travel. Uh, yeah, but an, another missed uh, free throw by Brockton. Francois has uh, another free throw. Misses both. Rebound uh, to Arcate. Good eye to Batista. Batista with a spin move up with the lefty. How about that by Batista? Hey, great, great move. What can you say? He got the line green kicks out here. Oh, hey, pressure. There's some pressure, but you got Cody. Oh, hey, good look. Ah, oh, he got to kick out to Cody, though. Marcus missed Cody wide open on the right. And yet uh, a travel by Philogene, and uh, New Bedford forces yet another turnover. And uh, they're up by four here. And Brockton uh, don't want to fall behind too much. Uh, they've not been a good come-from-behind team this year. And there's Batista again for three. No good. And they're going to call a push off that time on Sharples. Yeah. Offensive foul. He pushed uh, Philly Jean in the back. And it's going to go the other way. Marcus Forts. 
Villa Jean, Francois, why not? Air ball. So, um, very uh, not good offense that time by Brockton's last two possessions. Someone left the window open in the gym. Um, yeah, just not, not an ideal possession. And they shot it early into the shot clock. Um, not ideal possession. New Bedford looks like they're trying to get another paint touch. Let's see. Let's see what happens here. Swing. This guy's got some lime green kicks on. He definitely can hoop. You can't wear those and not be able to hoop. Oh, he got hit in the face. Uh. So I, I didn't see exactly what happened there, but uh, Batista immediately uh, grabs his, as glasses fell off. He, um, he kind of got hit in the face there. Hopefully he's okay. And looks like he is. And it's going to be Brockton ball. Uh, I mean, I guess if you lose your glasses, it's not a foul. And I, I, I can't disagree with that call, Marcel. It looked like he lost his glasses. Um, I don't know if it was more of like a. And there you go. Cody Lambert again with his fourth three-point in the game. That's been the offense for the Brockton boxes, Marcel. Hey, you got to know coming out into the game that Cody's going to be on the right side of the, of the court, and he's going to be standing behind that three-point line, and he's letting it go. He's, he's going to let it go. He's uh, probably four for six. Oh, that's, that's a terrible possession by New Bedford right there. Uh, Cody's probably, what, four for six Orlando from three? <laughs> he's got uh, four three-pointers, uh, four for five, I believe. Five, and yeah, yeah. He, he's just been outstanding uh, from there. And that's been Brockton's offense. And, uh, Brockton comes back looking to regain the lead, but 133 left, and there goes Cordy again for another three. This time, no good. And De Silva grabs the rebound, kicks it to Forts. Forts top of the K, and he drains it. Marcus Forts with his first field goal of the game. How about that? I was wondering why Marcus hadn't been more assertive tonight, and uh, that's I think, but I believe that's his first field goal attempt. And uh, you know he's shooting perfect, 1,000 percent. It's a great move by this kid. But uh, yeah. Here comes Marcus. Let's see what he does. So Brockton comes the other way after taking the lead 21 to 19 with 55 seconds left here in the second quarter. The Silva with a beautiful pass. Couldn't control it was Phil Jean, but Brockton regains possession. And it's gonna be a three second violation called on Phil Jean. Uh, you can't be in the lane for three seconds, Marcel, right? That's a rule. That's exactly, exactly what Manny is telling his team. Uh, shoot the ball. You get the ball anywhere near the paint, shoot the ball. Batista looking to drive. Almost lost the ball there, but re regained there by Goodine. Goodine shut down by Forts, kicks it back to Lloyd for three. Back rips it, and there goes a re offensive rebound for Duarte, and that looks like a travel, and it is. Um, Matt Hill does not like that call, but it looked like, indeed, he did. He did lift up that foot, Marcel. No, yeah, he traveled. I mean, coach has got to do what he's got to do. But um, my man walked all the way back down 24. Um, so, so Brockton uh, trying to play for the last shot here. With 15 seconds left, and uh, it looked to trap to Silver there, and um, ball out of bounds out New Bedford. Again, 13 seconds left, no shot clock. 21 to 19, Brockton. He's going to John. They're gonna have the duck in. Oh, the kid didn't duck in. He didn't run the play right. Um, uh, now he comes late. Uh, Brockton holding for the last shot. Uh, yep, that should have been Cody, but. Hey! At the buzzer, the senior. How about that? Amani De Silva with his first points of the game is a three-pointer to close out the first half. And um, not so great of a first quarter, but the second quarter we got a little bit, uh, a bit of uh, energy there. And Brockton goes into the half with a 24-19, Marcel. 
Much better second quarter. Much better second quarter. Um, there's a missing debit card. I'm going I'm to let K. Rowe do his thing real quick. So uh, that's the score at halftime. We'll be back with second half action. Brockton 24 on CN Night. New Bedford 19. We'll be back, ladies and gentlemen. All right, uh, this is uh, Orlando here, back with the back with the second half with Marcel Smith. Brockton's up 24 to 19, and uh, we're gonna get uh, the second half underway. Obviously, ladies and gentlemen, big game for New Bedford Whalers. Uh, if they want to get into the playoff, they stand at eight and nine, and uh, they need two wins. Falling into the power rankings uh, might be a tough thing to do with them sitting at uh, 41 in the power rankings. Brockton, uh, unfortunately, this year, uh, the playoff does not look like a destination for them, which is rare um, for Brockton boxers. Uh, I, I, I've, Brockton's probably has, hasn't made the playoffs probably once in the last 30 plus years. So for them not to make the playoffs this year, Marcel, that's, that's, that's kind of like unbelievable when you look at it. Hey, you know, historic moment for the program, but it looks like it's coming up. You know, you got the freshman kid, um, Chris, right? That's his first name. And uh, JV looks decent. You know, things can change really quickly. And, you know, it's Brockton. It's a, it's a city of hundreds of thousands of kids. You never know who could just walk in the door and change the program. So you, you hope for the best. We're coming out of halftime now. Um, Box is up five. New Bedford really needs this game. And like I said earlier, it would be wonderful for the boxers on their season to be the spoiler to one of their biggest, if not their biggest rival. Um, I don't know. What do you think about that? I think you're absolutely 100% right. And we want to see what kind of whaler team. Matt Hill went into a locker room. Obviously, he has some adjustments to make. We'll see what type of whaler team comes out here in the second half. And Brockton will, will start off the second half with possession. 24-19, third quarter underway for Brockton. Ratto looking to drive, does all the way to the hoop. Up and no good. Rebound to New Bedford, but there's another turnover by Diakate. Ratto looking to drive, does with a sweet up and under move, but unable to come up with it. That was a great move, Marcel. Yeah, good move. But I've noticed a couple times down now, as New Bedford just gets a free run to the basket, straight line drive for, for a bucket. Um, Brockton's running a horn set that uh, we used to call power when I was coaching in the AAU. Uh, it's a real good set. It frees up, gets the ball in the paint. Uh, let's see if they come out and run it again. And uh, at the other end was uh, good on with the hoop, and here comes Nate Ratto. Kisses it off the glass for two, and Brockton up 26 to 21. Good eye. Brunt skill. Back to Batista. Batista looking to drive. Pulls up. In and out. Francois rebounds. Francois goes to uh, Force, and Force says, why not? Back rims it. Batista with the rebound. Good eye looking to drive. Closed down there by Francois. Gives it to Batista. Batista up to the hoop. Up and under for two. Marcel, what a sweet move. Hey, that looked like something Pistol Pete would have done back in the early 80s, late 70s. Uh, that's a great move. And that time he was able to keep his glasses on and get two, Marcel. And there's a, a slap in the arm there before the shot, and that's going to be on the floor. New Bedford's first foul of the second half. 26-23, Brockton with a three-point lead here in the third quarter. Francois Lambert. Back to uh, Forts, Lambert, Ratso. Bradford doing a good job at the, keeping Brockton at the top 
of the three-point line. Ratchel looking to drive. Does shut down there. And a turnover. Taken away by Goodeye. And that's going to be a, a very uh, not a good foul that time by Corey. That's just going to be his third foul. That's just not a smart foul, Marcel. Bad, bad reach at half court. Manny, Coach Manny trying to get the uh, call changed off of Cody to Nate Ratto, but um, the ref knows what he's doing. And, that, and that's a big foul because that's Cody's third personal foul here. And it, it's, if you're Manny, Jabaris, how long do you have him out there? And again, another, another player with his hands up in the air, like, what did I do? And uh, that's a clear travel, uh, Marcel, by Goodine. And then yet another turnover. 26-23 Brockton, 5.37 here in the third quarter in a big SEC matchup here at the Stafton Gymnasium in Brockton. Francois looking to drive. Nice spin move and a left-handed layup by Francois for two. Listen, that looked like Orlando back in the 90s. Uh, great move there. Um, Nate Ratto exciting the crowd with a spin. I don't know if it, it was as good as, as me, but, man, what a move that time by the senior, John Francois. And at the other end, another turnover by New Bedford. Barockton with a 28-23 lead here in the third quarter. And uh, New Bedford is going to try to apply some pressure here with the full court press. And there it is. There's a turnover, and New Bedford just turns it right back to Brockton, right in the hands of Ratto. Ratto goes to the man there. Lambert unable to hit the three. Back rims it, and uh, rebound goes to the New Bedford Whalers. And Cody was feeling it that time, right, uh, Marcel? I knew it was going up as soon as Cody touched the ball. Um, we got to send out a public service announcement to our Nate Ratto. When the screen comes for you, brother, you got to use the screen. He always goes away for the screen. Um, I've, I've noticed that in a couple of other games. He's got, you got to use the screen, Nate. You got to. And Lloyd uh, hits the shot at the top of the key. And uh, there's a turnover by Forts. Good uh, defense there by New Bedford. Good eye goes to Batiste. And uh, he's going to get hacked that time by a, a Curry. 28-25. Uh, Brockton here by three. I know they're called the Whalers, but right now the Sharks are in the water with this press right here. Um, the pressure's really bother. Oh, that's just too easy. The pressure, the pressure's really bothering Brockton right now. Uh, how about that move by Brunskill? Straight to the hoop, up and under. And New Bedford closes the Brockton lead to one, 28-27, with 4:22 left here in this uh, third quarter. What a pass there by Francois and a Jarakate with a block. You got to go up strong there. And um, easy block and Baptista for three in and out. Joakate with another rebound. That's no good. And back the other way comes Brockton. Forts. Ratso. Goes inside to a Curry with a nice move, but unable to come up with the hoop yet again. I need Marcus to attack the basket a little bit more. I want to see him be more assertive out here. I think it would really help the team. Oh, New Bedford. New Bedford with a pull-up jump shot. Takes the lead by one, 29-28. 3.28 to go in the third. And that's that guy again, Lloyd, at the top of the key with another swish. And Brockton comes back. Breaks the press, and Nate Ratto feeds John francois with the up and under. And Brockton retakes the lead, 30 to 29 with 311 here in the third quarter. Baptista looking to drive and now they're gonna call a foul there. It's gonna be on Marcus Forts. The, uh, Baptista took a shot as he went to the hoop, but he gets right back up. Very tough kid uh, in Greg Baptista. His, his glasses have come off today, he's still in the game. That was all facilitated by uh, number 34, Isaac Rivera, who was sitting out of the game telling Baptiste to attack Cody because Cody has three, and uh, he, he did that. And then he comes right off the bench and uh, does what coaches hate the most. You walk right in and shoot a three. You don't want to do that. Brockton gets the loose ball. Francois again 
with almost the same move he had to the prior hoop, up and under, and New Belford just turns it over. Wow. So 32-29, Brockton in front here with 2.49 left here in the third quarter, and New Belford yet another careless turnover, giving Brockton the possession back. Francois looking uh, down low. Kicks it back to Nate Ratso. He says, why not from the baseline? Unable to hit that. Lloyd comes up with the ball. Fees Rivera, who lays it up and in. Good transition that time by the Whalers. 32-31, Brockton. Ratso breaks the press, goes to Cody. Cody! What is fifth three-pointer of the game, Marcel? There's your guy. Five for seven or five for eight from three. Um... You know, Cody shoots the ball. I'd find him right now. Oh, wait, something big. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, he misses the dunk. He misses the dunk, but I understand it. Coach is going to hate it, but I get it. Yeah, um, the crowd was ready to explode if Francois came up with that dunk, and I don't mind that either. He's, he's done that a couple times poster dunks as we saw in the Lynn English game where Francois dunked it over three guys, Marcel. And Lawrence. I'm sorry, Lawrence. 35-31. Barockton here with 157 left in the third quarter. Almost a turnover there by Brockton. And there's that guy, Cody. He says, why not? And why not? Cody with his sixth Three-pointer of the game. And uh, let me tell you something, Marcel. Somebody's on fire. We need to call the fire department. Hey, um, there's a lot of good shooters in this gym right now. But uh, Cody is putting on a show. His sixth three-pointer of the game. And uh, six times three, Marcel? 18. 18 points for Mr. Cody Lambert. Clearly the high scorer here in today's game. And... Um, He's got the crowd in a frenzy. And I just say, just keep on feeding him. Brockton up 38 31 with 121 left here in the third quarter. New Bedford in a full cup press. Marcus Ratso breaks the press. And uh, fortunately, uh, he forgot something. That's called the basketball. And it'll go back to New Bedford. Here with 114 left here in the third quarter. What a what a an exciting uh, third quarter to say the least, Marcel. Hey, absolutely, and, and I think uh, we got to see how this substitution pans out right here. But um, I I think I would have stuck. Well, you, you you don't know, but last minute of the third, get all the starters rested. Let's see. No, that's short, short. That time, Cody. Came up with nothing, but I don't mind that. I mean, he's been red hot. And Lloyd from the baseline drains it. That's a big shot for New Bedford because it looked like Brockton was on a little run there. Now, that's a big shot by Lloyd for three to make it 38-34, Brockton. And back comes Lambert, but a turnover there trying to feed Hodge. Lloyd kicks it baseline to Batista. No good. That would have been huge. And uh, Okafor comes up with the rebound. Gives it to Cody. And Cody goes for three. And he hits his seventh three-pointer of the game. Unbelievable. 21 on the night for Mr. Lambert. My man is 7 for 11 from three. And no one wants to cover him yet. Um, you know... You can't fault you can't fault anybody, but the scouting report right there. Um, once you hit three or four threes, someone's got to be in your face. And most of these Orlando are just stand still. He's just catching and shooting. He's wide open. What a uh, we were going to call that the Cody Lambert third quarter show. And basically, he's just put on a show for the entire game. And uh, all his points have been from beyond the arc. Seven. Three pointers for Cody Lambert and Brockton after three quarters up 41 to 34 in a huge game for the New Bedford Whalers. And 
And now, if you're Matt Hill, you got your troops. Uh, what are you telling them, Marcel? Hey, that, that, that slope is extra slippery. I might come out of what I'm doing. You might have to go box him one on Cody. Cody has more than half of the points for Brockton High. He has 21 of the 41 points. You got to do something different. Um, I saw a viral video online where a coach was double teaming a kid and leaving one kid open. At this point, you might have to double Cody and leave someone else open, but Cody's on fire in this gym. Uh, you got to figure something else out if you want to keep playing, you know, if you want to even have a chance to get in the state tournament. That is indeed correct. Uh, Brockton outscored New Bedford 17 to 15 in that quarter. And uh, they go into this uh, fourth quarter up 41. 34, big, big, big eight minutes uh, left here in this game for the New Bedford Whalers, who desperately needs this game, where they stand at 8-9 and nine and trying to make the MIAA state tournament. And they will have possession to start the fourth quarter. Good on. Controls the ball to Baptista. Over to Brunskill. Goes into Dewakate looking to drive. Great move, but great defender. And then he rips that rebound in. He's going to have a jump ball here, and that possession should go to the Brockton boxes. And it does. New Bedford's going to back off. Freshman for Brockton, Chris Okafor. Messiah Pena with a nice spin move, and he's going to draw the foul. What a move that time by Messiah Pena, the senior. What does Cedric Mac Maxwell say? He put him in the pop, 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 popcorn popper, spun around, and uh, that's a great move by the kid. I would have liked to see him finish with the uh, opposite hand, though. But, yeah, great move, kid. Uh, you know, as he's one of the seniors that, uh, that we're honoring tonight for Brockton, and uh, – while I have a chance, there's, uh, I might as well call out their names. Uh, Brockton has six seniors. J Judson, Philogene, uh, John Francois, Nate Ratto, Messiah Pina, who's at the line now, Amani De Silva, and uh, Aaron Corlett. So we'd like to give a shout out to them, uh, the seniors for the Brockton Boxers. And uh, he gets the second one, it's 42-34. Rivera looking to drive, and he does. Wow. That time, he 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 went in there very, very aggressive, Marcel. That's a, that's a man move right there. Uh, very assertive to the rim. Get to the rack and finish. Got to love it. Uh, Marcus Fortz looking to take the three, and he says, you know what? Whatever Cody Lambert can do, I can do also. That's his second three-pointer of the game, six on the night for Fortz. All net. Brockton up 45 to 36. And a Batista looking to drive camp. Francois comes out with it. Looking to drive, going coast to coast. And uh, great move. And he's going to draw the foul there on New Bedford Whalers. And uh, Rivera doesn't like the call. but And obviously, no, actually, I apologize. That's going to be a turnover uh, going the other way for New Bedford. So I apologize. Forty-five, thirty-six, Brockton. Six thirty-eight left here in the final quarter. Brunskill, uh, not a good pass that time by Goodon, and Brockton comes up with another turnover. Pina, up and good. Three points for Pina. He scored all three points here in the fourth quarter for Brockton. Great pass by Cody Lambert. Cody Lambert with a nice pass. Brockton up forty-seven, thirty-six. Rivera answers with a big shot for New Bedford. They needed that one. 47-39, Brockton with six minutes here left to play in the game. Forts up top, the sophomore for Brockton. Francois feeds uh, Pina, and again, Pina with a good move, gets hit, and he gets a chance to go to the line, Marcel. Over the years, Brockton have had some big left-handed kids, and him being left-handed right now is, is actually helping him out when they, 
when you get the ball into the middle of the floor, you want to you want to catch and look opposite. He's on the opposite side of the, of the receiver of the ball, and and he's left-handed. So that's a uh, that's a good it's good by Manny to put him in that position to be able to just score uh, easily or get fouled. He's at the free throw line. He made the first one. 48-39, Brockton. 5:48 to go in the fourth. And Pina with all four points for Brockton here in the fourth quarter. Now he misses the second one, but he'd like to see that out of the senior. Messiah Pina, who also plays defensive line for Brockton. Uh, good football player as well, and uh, I like to see that where the senior, you know, is getting a little shine here in the fourth quarter for Brockton. And uh, Brunskill goes to the hoop and draws the foul, and he'll go to the line. Apparently he's the Messiah. <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, Messiah Pina. Brunskill will have one more. 541 left here in the fourth quarter. And he does make the second one, making it 48-40. Brockton and New Bedford is gonna call a timeout here. As uh, you know, the pressure's building here, Marcel. You have 541 left in the game, and uh New Bedford's gonna have to muster something up here. Yeah, I, I'm thinking, I'm thinking that uh um New, Bed New Bedford might come out with a press or something. Um, right now, it's just going to be an effort game. It's going to be who wants it more. And uh, I'm not big into cliches or anything like that, but it really is going to come down to does New Bedford really want a chance to play in the postseason and does Brockton really want to be the spoiler? That's all it's going to come down to is effort. The coaches won't matter. More than likely, what they draw up won't matter. The kids just got to go out there on one end and execute. And then the other kids got to fight back. That's really all it's going to be for the next 541. And, and Marcel, I know you've coached in college. You, you coach in high school. Do you think Brockton is aware that New Bedford needs this game and they possibly could play spoiler? Do you, you think they're aware of that? It would be eye-opening if they are not aware of that. Everyone should know the situation at hand. Um, so I'm going to give them a little credit. that Yeah, they absolutely should know. So uh, we'll see what happens here in the last 536 of this ball game. Francois looking to drive, and uh, looked like he got hit, no call. And New Bedford comes up the other way, and a uh, great pass by Lloyd to Rivera. And Rivera, since he came in the game, he's, he's, been, he's, he's been doing his thing. He, tur he turned up a little bit. He came in a little earlier, got subbed out quick, wasn't feeling it. And uh, he's turned up ever since. And uh, Ratso unable to come up with that hoop. Back comes New Bedford. Batista with the sky three-pointer. That had no chance. But guess who? Lloyd hits the three-pointer. And just as we say it, New Bedford has to heat up the moment, and they do. Lloyd from three-pointers. New Bedford on a 5 nothing run here to make it 48. 45 with 4.53 left here in this game. Hey, none of these cities on 24, on Route 24, are just going to lay down. None of them. So, you know, Brockton um, might have been a little, you know, a little questionable with the effort coming right out of that timeout. But um, that was just a scramble play, and New, New Bedford took advantage of it. Uh, hey, it's winding down. It's a good game here. So, you know, basketball is a game of momentums, and, um, Right now, Brockton uh, has got to watch out here because New Bedford look like they uh, they sensing urgency late in this game with 4:53 left to play. With Brockton up 48-45, and uh, Rivera, Marcel just mentioned he's only a sophomore for the Whalers. Has played his part since coming into this game. New Bedford in a man-to-man -man full court. Francois. Forts. Looking to drive. Does. Takes it in and uh, tries to get it to a Kirby and a can and a turnover. But he was able to get the ball back. Goes to Francois who goes up and under. And a big hoop by Brockton to stop the New Bedford surge. Yeah, if you're on 
New Bedford's end, you want to just grab the ball and possess the basketball. And if you're on Brockton's end, you do what you do. You, you, you pick it up and put it in the basket. So 50 to 45 with a 412 left to play. Brunskill looking to drive. Kicks it to Baptista. Baptista to Rivera. Rivera from the side. And the sophomore with another three-pointer for the Whalers, Marcel. Hey, it's turn up time over here in Brockton. Uh, Rivera's come to play in this quarter. Uh, Lloyd and Rivera single-handedly keeping New Bedford into this game, and which is now a game with Brockton only up by two. Ratto looking to drive, does, goes all the way to the hoop, up, and a foul. How about the senior, Nate Ratto? That's a good drive. Um, I would just like to see the game continue without the, without the foul call. But, hey, uh, great drive by Nate on senior night. Obviously, Coach Hill is not uh, happy about that call. Uh, he might have a point there. Um, kind of want to let that play out, but in any event, Ratto completes the three-point play and puts Brockton up five, 53-48, with 3.28 left to play in this game. Lloyd looking to drive, does. Wow, good move. Uh, unable to come up with the, with the layup, but again, uh, Batista with a shot that the coach is probably not going to like. Uh, another air ball there. And Brockton's going to gain possession back. Uh, what do you think about that shot by Batista, uh, Marcel? I didn't think it was the greatest shot, um, and, I, and I can understand why he – why he took the shot, but I feel like you go in that situation, you go to the basket, you attack the basket. I don't know what happened to Lord. We got to get a report on that, but uh, him coming out the game is concerning for the Whalers because he was playing good out there, but right now he's uh, on the bench for the Whalers. Uh, Ratso goes underneath to a Curry, who's unable to come up with the shot, but Francois there for the offensive rebound and puts Brockton up by seven. 55-48 with 2.45 left here in the fourth quarter. Good on. No good. Brockton comes up with the rebound. There's Francois to Cody. Cody's going to say, you know what? Let's run some clock here. Puts it back up. Forts. Uh, Ratto, top of the key. Goes for three and uh, back rims it. No good. And uh, Brockton will regain possession as the ball goes off New Bedford. Uh, and that would have been a big shot if Ratso was able to hit that, Marcel. Yep, and I feel like they're running a play for Cody right now. Yep, oh, get Ah, he wanted to catch it and shoot it. He wanted to, he was. He was calling for the ball the entire play. He turned it over, but I don't, I don't blame him. Kids got a bunch of buckets tonight. If, if, if there's an area where Cody got to work on his game, it's driving. I feel like he's a great shooter, but he has to an offseason. He's only a sophomore. Obviously, he has enough time to work on that. He has to work on his body strength and go into the hoop uh, going into next year. But regardless, the future is bright for Mr. Lambert. 55-48 with two minutes left here in this ball game. Good eye. To the uh, red hot Rivera. Goes to the hoop. Unable to come up with, but the offensive rebound by Zarak. Zarakate up and in. 55-50. Timeout. Whalers. And the Whalers obviously are still in this game, being that it's only two possession, Marcel, with 147 to play. I was just listening to a little bit of the term, the um, the anticipation of uh, the potential loss with the New Bedford team, as they call timeout. Um, you know, these things can be stressful, but you got to be cool, you got to be calm, collect, uh, collected, relaxed, and just let it play out. Let the game come to you. Uh, Brockton's doing a massive job in the sec second half of controlling the tempo of the game. They're getting everything they want. Um, New Bedford literally hasn't been able to stop them, especially in the fourth quarter. So coming down to the wire here, Orlando. Yes, yeah, so uh, 147 left to play. 
And uh, Brockton will have possession here. Let's see what uh, type of defense New Bedford comes out in. I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be a full court, some kind of full court press, maybe man-to-man -man full court. But they need some kind of pressure, obviously, to try to either get a steal. And Brockton comes out with Ratso, Francois, Akuri, Forts, and Lambert. New Bedford with Brunskill, Goodine, Baptista, Rivera, and Duracate. Forts. Top of the key. Uh, goes to the hoop. Nice feed to a Curry for the layup. And that was just beautiful by Forts. Yeah, Forts hit him with the Iverson crossover. And a uh, good dump off. Great attack. Oh, New Bedford comes right back and scores. All right, New Bedford uh, comes right back with their layup of their own to make it 57 to, 40, uh, 57 to 52. And uh, there's going to be a foul there on the Whalers, and I believe that's going to be their fourth foul here in the fourth quarter. Brockton has one. 112 left to play. We'll see if New Bedford. And they're, they're going to stay in the press. Brockton easily breaks it over to the uh, a Curry, and uh, I don't know about that. I felt like Brockton should have held the ball there and um, killed some clock, but um, not a good possession by Brockton at all. No, you got to know the time and score. I, I, I know you want the layup. You want to try to put the ball in the basket, and I, I'm not sure why Brockton is backing up from the pressure. But, um, yeah, you want to possess the basketball and run some clock. And right back comes New Bedford, almost a turnover. There goes Lloyd back in the game, and he hits the shot. And we have a one-possession game here with 50 seconds left to play. Big shot by Lloyd, 57-54. And uh, Coach DeBarros is going to pause things and call timeout for the Brockton Boxers. What a shot. Listen, listen Manny just saved his team. I was counting to uh, get the ball in basket, they, it was at four seconds. They had one second to get it in when Manny blew that timeout. Uh, so they, they can thank their coach for saving them from not having to play defense right now. Uh, if I'm New Bedford, I actually might switch my press because uh, Brockton's breaking it pretty easily. The diamond press, Brockton's just hitting the sideline, hitting the opposite line, sideline, throwing over the press. Um, I'd come out with something different. but. Um, you know, it is a one-possession game. It's turning out to be a good one here tonight. Yes, indeed. So here is the story. Uh, 46 seconds left to play. Brockton ball up 57-54. And we all know how important this game is to the Whalers. They're going to come out in a full-court press. And we'll see what happens here. Obviously, a big possession Either way, if you're Brockton, probably be smart to use some clock. 35 seconds left in the shot clock. Be smart to use some of that. Uh, Forts will inbound the ball. Let's see what uh, DeBarros draws up here. Inbounds it to Francois and a turnover by Brockton. So New Bedford gets the, the turnover they desperately need here. And Brunskill to tie it up. No good. Rebound to Duarte. Batista looking to drive. Does. Kicks it back out to Brunskill. He looks to drive. Up. No good. Rebound to Cody Lambert. Gives it to Nate Ratto, who goes up for the layup and gets fouled. That offensive rebound by Francois is not going to count. And again, I asked you, Marceau, why didn't Brockton pull that ball out? Well, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rewind the tape a little bit. I don't know if we can do that here, but I'm going to do that. So when New Bedford possesses the ball, I'm curious as to why Coach Matt Hill did not call timeout and get Rivera back in the game. That's what I would have done. However, Orlando, you are right. Nate's got to dribble, as a, as a senior, he's got to dribble all the way over to the crowd side and then get out to half court and just try to dribble some time out. Uh, I agree with you. But he made the first free throw, Brockton up four.
So in, in defense to Ratto, uh, which Mbappé calls a timeout, Brockton still has enough free throw. In defense to him, hitting that free throw is also crucial because that, that makes it a two-possession game, and he still has a, a, a free throw remaining as when we come back from the timeout. But 58-54, um, uh, Marcel, which has been a very entertaining second half uh, by the Whalers and, and the Boxers. Yeah, absolutely. Game started sluggish, and uh, both teams picked it up. The kids picked it up. Um, coaches got a little bit more involved. I think everybody was a little sleepy. Um, you know, hey, still not over. Look, the ref looks at us and says, oh, not a bad game. Uh, it's still not over. We've seen crazier things happen. And uh, we, we saw that turnover um, to Marcel's defense. Uh, the game is still not over. <laughs> These teams has, have shown it. They turned over the ball a lot today. Uh, so when you get to team that does that obviously the game's not over um is correct uh, so here's the storyline 58 54 16.5 left in this game Ratso going to the line for one more free throw let's see uh, nate Ratso. And he hits both free throws, two big free throws by Ratto. So New Bedford will inbound the ball, almost a turnover there. Good on. Looking to go, kicks it to Lloyd. Lloyd fires up a three, no good. Rebound to Diakate, goes to Batista. He goes for three, that's no good. Again, Batista, that's no good. And this ball game is over. Brockton. Gives a New Bedford a devastating blow to their playoff chances with a 59-54 win here in the Staff J Gym here in Brockton. Marcel. Hey, great game by both teams. Great effort. Um, you know, Brockton gets a big win. I believe that's their fifth win of the season. Um,